you all. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Smart Home Full Port 3 quarter inch automatic water shutoff valve which works in cooperation with the Insteon input output relay. The valve is fed from a 12 volt power supply as you see there plugged into that outlet. What happens when you have an Insteon leak sensor which is right here there's a little thing that sits on the floor, has two metal port prongs on it. When those prongs get wet and have water continuity across them, it will send a signal to the hub, the Insteon hub, which is attached to your internet router. And it will then send a signal back to the Insteon input output relay, which then activates the 12 volt source to turn the water valve off. And hence it will save you lots of problems with you know a water leak say from your washing machine hoses that might have burst or something and you can see on this valve there's a red line in that sight glass that red line indicates the position of the valve and as you can see right now that line is going in the same direction as the piping meaning it's open that red line will close and turn to the left or go opposite the direction of the piping meaning it's closed so now I'm going to demonstrate this so I'm going to take this water sensor and put it on this towel that's wet to indicate that there was a problem. Now I'll show you. Right now we have full water pressure. There's no problems. But as soon as I put this on this towel, you'll see the green light on the Insteon leak sensor light up. And at the same time, you'll hear the water sensor start to, or the water valve start to close. And I'll pan right over to that. So there. And you can see that now that red line has closed, which means the valve is closed. Now I'm going to turn the water on. Now this particular sink is in the basement. So all the water from upstairs will have to drain down. You will see some water pressure at first, but the only reason is because all the water from the second floor is using gravity to drain down through this faucet. But you will see that the water pressure is gone. Again, had this leak been upstairs, there would have been no water pressure whatsoever, and your leak would have been solved right away. Now this leak, or this water valve, stays closed until you manually push this black button right on the side of it, right here. And when I do that, you will hear the, or I will show you the water valve open back up and I'll come back over to this faucet then and show you that there is a, no, the water pressure comes back. For now I'm going to turn it off just so you can hear the water valve itself operate when I push this button. So when I reset it, after I've fixed the leak, it had, you know, when uh, under normal circumstances that this goes off, you'd have a leak, you had to fix first. So now say you fixed your leak, you come back over here, you push that button, that has opening the water valve back up and you can see that red line moving. Now it's stopped. We have full water pressure in the whole house again. Go back over to the sink. Turn on, we have full water pressure again. This system, so far to me, seems like the best thing you could do for a house, especially if you've had known water issues. Thank you very much for watching.